A new group called the Malays. You remember a few of the faces from other groups. And in particular, we remember Neil and yourself fall out of the split ends. I thought only the two were coming in, but you got the whole group, so let's just kick the, the answers and the questions around. Whose idea was it to put the Malays together? Um... <laughs> uh, well, it was Paul and I talked about it when Split Ends was sort of um, drawing to a close last year. Paul and I said, well, you know, let's get another band happening next year. Yeah. We, we felt energetic and enthusiastic about the idea and we immediately, um, as the band finished really, we started auditioning. We did a demo tape in January and had everybody play on the tape uh -huh. to audition. Actually, Craig was the only exception. We came up to Sydney and had a play with Craig and uh, that, that was instantly good. And Nick. We had a good feeling about straight away too, so... Nick's into his midis there. Nick, yeah. Don't um, eat on camera, Nick. Listen, only... is it a four-piece because of economical reasons, or is it four because that's the way you would like it? Uh, it we just could fit into one eye Yeah. Yeah, it's, yeah. Well, it seems to me that it might be a money saver. <laughs> oh, well, <laughs> no, not really. Keep it as a, a, a small unit rather than about eight pieces. Well, yeah, obviously it costs twice as much yeah. as the eight piece, but... When we first did the first week's rehearsal and we were going to have some keyboards and things and we just didn't need it. We just put all the sound, the sound really that you've got, you're quite happy with. You wouldn't yeah. extend it at I, any other time. I think it's good to be limited and mm -hmm. to limit yourself in a way and because it, it gives you a... Well, it means that you're, you're not sort of trying to find ways of using members yeah. all the time. It means that you're, it's very economical to the music as well. Music, yeah. Yeah. It's all guitars too, it's just a simple mm. guitar band. Right. So we didn't really need all those embellishments. We didn't end up even using any keyboards at all. No, I so. heard that just before you came on. Well, what has the audience reaction been like to obviously a very well-known face here and, and the rest of you know? Well, what do people come in and expect too much or are they happy with what they... Well, you know, when we play a couple... <laughs> when we play a couple... Who was that? It was Craig, <laughs> Craig, old Dobby. When we play a couple of the older songs, <laughs> you know, um, they all come up the front and sort of, you know, all that sort of stuff. But it's surprising that a lot of people <laughs> like Nick. That's <laughs> 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 it. This a very fire. friendly band. <laughs> <laughs> this is their uh, first uh, meeting it's with it's the gone. media. It's gone back to <laughs> <laughs> and it looks like they could well end up madder than Split Ends were. What's your brother Tim doing? Tim um, He's been at he's been at the Cannes Film Festival. Mm -hmm. um, <laughs> the bugger of a life for him, really. <laughs> he just doubled the world. <laughs> yeah, right. You know, I have to ask you though, because so many people still write the split end songs. You know, the the fans that you had at that stage oh, yeah. were monumental. Oh, they're good. We've been seeing them around on this tour. They've been checking out the Malays and seeing if they're going to sort of change their loyalties or whatever. Right. I wonder whether they will. Oh, uh, well, I don't know. We'd, we'd like to earn their respect rather than just expect them to turn up anyway. So, sure. Hopefully. What about a record deal, mate? Uh, well, we're getting yeah, close. Yeah, sure, thanks. You want one? <laughs> just try and feel, will you? We've heard about your new label, don't you? <laughs> yeah, yeah, the biggie is called the Sado label. The <laughs> we'll be all right, we'll be all right. I'll sign up for my lane, first thing, yeah, no, we're getting tomorrow close. morning. <laughs> we're getting close to doing, to doing a deal. We're, we're enjoying our state of freedom and liberty from all deals and contracts at the moment. Because you we're, guys manage yourselves, don't you? Well, yeah. for, the, for the time being, we're managing ourselves. Well, we're tour managing ourselves. Mm. As I said, we, we we needed to fit into the one hire car, so tour manager was out the window. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Fifth member's gone. They get, they get too much money anyway, tour <laughs> managers, I'll tell you. Hey, thanks for stopping in and saying hello. Tonight you're at Miranda Hotel. Tomorrow at the Avalon Hour, oh. and then up to Melbourne, is that right? Uh, on the, through Adelaide and Griffith. We're playing Griffith. Great. Watch out for it.